Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to make a quick video about the uh, viscous fan clutch in the Toyota 22RE engine. Uh, so this, uh, I'll put the part number in the comments, but it's, uh, I think it's the ASIN FCT001 or 003, something like that. It depends on if it's an automatic or a manual transmission. They're slightly different part numbers. Uh, other than that, I'm not sure what's different uh, between them, to be honest. But uh, this is a brand new clutch that I got off of uh, Rock Auto. Like I said, it's the ASIN OEM part, and I put it on a brand new, uh, brand new built engine that I did myself, um, paying attention to all the details, and ended up with uh, the truck. You know, kind of runs a little warm sometimes, where I really don't think it should, especially given the ambient temperatures that it's operating in. And uh, so I figured, let's look into the fan clutch. Maybe it's just not pulling enough air across the radiator. Because I put in a three-row radiator, um, you know, it shouldn't be any issue. There's a, there's a shroud, the factory shroud. So then I started digging into the fan clutch and found, uh, found a uh, forum post and thread that somebody posted. And they talked about taking these fan clutches apart and either draining the oil or changing the oil out like you would do if you're trying to service it um, you know after you know many miles the fan clutch starts to go bad because of this uh, silicone fluid in them that shears and will eventually wear out uh, but anyways i found this article about even taking new ones and modifying the silicone uh, fluid that is in them to change uh, how much they drive the fan uh, versus the, the stock oil. And there are even some people that are commenting that a lot of these fans, even new, um, don't come with enough oil. And so that can cause them to not engage the fan enough, drive enough uh, air across the radiator to uh, keep the system and the engine as cool as it normally would. And this is the issue I was having. So I figure I'll take it apart. I'm not gonna drain out the fluid because that takes a long time to do. But in this forum, one of the posts talked about simply adding a heavier, more viscous silicon fluid to it. And they recommended, I think that the recommendation was to add 20 milliliters of this 30,000 CST silicon oil. And that they had, people had good results with that. Um, I'm going to start with about 15 milliliters or so. I made some marks on the side of the container. See if I can focus on that. About what I estimated. It's because it's a 60 milliliter bottle. So 20, 40, 60. And let's see. I put in probably about 15. Maybe not even 15 milliliters out of that bottle. It's hard to tell. But I wanted to start there and see how that worked. I didn't want, um, I don't want the fan to engage more than it really needs to. Because then you're just wasting fuel. Uh, that's going to, that's going to, you know, hit your gas mileage a little bit depending on, you know, if this is engaging when it's just totally not necessary. Um, so we'll start with this. If I, if I have to, I can take it back apart. You know, it's a matter of, um, you know, taking the fan shroud out, draining a little of the radiator, taking the fan shroud out, disconnect the upper hose to get the shroud out, and then uh, four 10 millimeter nuts. And, uh, it's, you know, they're kind of a pain to get to, but it's not terrible. It's not the the hardest job ever um, and I can I could add more or change something around or drain this out and put a whole new fluid in for the entire contents but we'll start here for now see how this works hopefully fingers crossed this is the solution for me in my truck which also happens to be a, a Toyota motorhome so it, the engine is running at higher loads than you would see on a normal pickup truck so possibly maybe those motorhomes I, I know that Toyota sells fan clutches with different weight oils in them. I don't know how you specify that or, you know, get those because on Rock Auto or wherever I've seen, it's just the one part number. Um, I also read about in one of those forums, it might've been the same thread, um, that Toyota used to sell these without the oil and you can actually get the bottle, the little bottles, I think it takes like three bottles of the Toyota factory silicon oil. So not this but the factory stuff and then you actually would fill the dry you know the clutch came dry and you would fill it up um, to the factory fill rating and then you could have whatever 
uh, weight only all you needed. So if you live down south and you're, you know, wheeling around Arizona and desert and stuff like that, obviously you're going to want something thicker like a 10,000, 9 or 10,000 uh, weight oil. Um, the RV, yes, it's running at a higher load, but uh, we also don't really use it when it's super hot out. So I'm going to start with this. Hopefully this will round me up to about uh, 8,000, 7,000, 8,000 on the viscosity. I hear that these come with, I think, 4,000 from the factory. It's either 4 or 7 or something like that. But anyways, we're going to bring it up a little higher, see if that works. Uh, this silicone oil you can get at uh, hobby shops, uh, I've been told or read about. Uh, I ordered this off of eBay, and there's a seller where you get it for about 12 bucks shipped, and you get whatever weight you wanted, and it's 60 milliliters, which I felt like it was a pretty good deal um, to get it to me. But check your local hobby store if you've got one, and uh, they can probably hook you up with something else. This is using like differentials and shocks and struts or whatever on uh, RC cars. So um, taking this thing apart, no big deal at all. You just take these four screws out. They're a number three Phillips head. Hit it with an impact driver if you got one to bust some loose. Uh, you know, I'm lucky mine, mine's brand new pretty much. So no wear, no corrosion. And they came right out for me. And then two halves separate pretty easily. There's a flat O-ring type seal that's in the groove there. And it stayed in there for me. And as you can see, that seat's down here. And I've got a little bit of fluid that's, that's coming out the edge but should be able to seal most of it back in there yeah four screws it comes apart and uh what i did was add the fuel i already added the fluid obviously i basically just filled up these holes and it's kind of level across the top got a little bit drooping out on the edges but not too bad but uh anyways wish me luck I'm gonna put this back together and see if uh get uh, nice cool engine temps even with the uh, prolonged load like climbing a hill or going down the highway at 60 mile, mile an hour with this big RV uh, dragging behind. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, we'll come back with more videos when we got them. Thanks.